You're in the Business Insurance Zone with me, Steve Savant, National Insurance Columnist and Financial Color Commentator. This week on The Biz, the Medicare Supplement Insurance Series. And on today's show, part one, the Medicare Supplement Insurance Market with MedSup expert, Sam Corey III. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Well, welcome everyone to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm your host, Steve Savant, and we're broadcasting live to a nationwide audience of financial advisors right here in Fountain Hills, Arizona, home of America's largest fountain. And today and all this week, we're gonna be doing our introduction into Medicare supplement into the senior market. This is a huge market for us, and we're gonna really work at it all this week to kind of bring you into a entry level so that you can really understand this market and how it can play into your practice huge. And help with me to help me today, Sam Corey III. Hey, Sam. Hey, Steve. How are you? Welcome to the show. And, Thanks for uh, having me. I'm glad you're here. And you have been into this. I mean, you and generations before you, I mean, you guys have been doing MedSupps a long time. We've been doing MedSupps for about 15 years now. Oh, my goodness. And, I mean, that's your forte. That's your centerpiece. I mean, you do other things, a little bit of life, a little bit of mm-hmm. But really, med supplement. Well, you know, most of our audience that's listening today, and, of course, we, have, we drag some consumers in as well because we're online, People are, inter- we want to introduce ourselves into the supplemental, uh, you know, med market. We're not really sure what that is, you know. And I have to say, now that I'm c- getting close, <laughs> this five series could be enlightening for my own life as well as everybody else. So we want to know, we know it's a good practice. We know it's a good entry market to the senior market. I want to be an advisor on Social Security. I want to be an advisor on um, MedSup and retirement. These things all kind of coordinate together. So let's give them an introduction. When I think about Medicare, I thought... Most of my traffic that I saw out on Google before I came over here was, oh, uh, Medicare takes care of everything. Once you turn 65, uh, the government's you're, the government's going to take care of you from cradle to grave, so to speak. And, there, and there's a few people that believe that, and they're in for a rude awakening when the time comes. It is. Well, talk a little bit about not only is that not true, but talk about the marketplace because, I mean, the last time I saw it, 10,000 baby boomers are retiring every day. Well, no, it's, it's actually 10,000 a day are turning 65. Oh, turning 65. Now we're seeing that people are delaying the retirement a little bit because mm-hmm. they can't really, mm-hmm. you know, not everything's in place for them to retire right. currently. Uh, the Medicare market for most seniors that are coming off their group health insurance, look, you know, they're not really sure what they need to do next. Mm-hmm. They're going to get a bunch of mail when they turn around turning 65. It's going to be sort of overwhelming. But the biggest thing is, is Medicare doesn't cover everything. Medi- Medicare covers about 80%. Mm-hmm with no maximum out of pocket. So if you just retire at 65, get your Medicare Part A and B, and we'll talk about that later, um, and you go in and serve for, for some major procedure, cancer, whatever, and the bill's a million dollars, you're on the hook for $800,000, There's or $200,000. Mm-hmm. Medicare's gonna pay the $800,000, and that could be every year that you're going mm-hmm. forward. So there's supplemental insurance, MedSup, and some other things that will cover those gaps, the Medigap insurance. Well, the last retirement survey that we did a couple weeks ago, Transamerica came out with a huge 61-page doc. It was really great. And it said that the average married couple in America during their retirement time will spend 240000 on medical expenses. And I'm not even sure that included MedSup. It may not have. I mean, that could just be their, their, their medical costs that they mm-hmm. incur. Sure. So let's talk a bit. Let's talk a little bit about this because I'm looking at these statistics, and this is when I look at issues like this. This is called um, in this Trans America survey. I pulled this for this morning's show, and I noticed it. It says level of understanding regarding Medicare. Now, this is I just find this interesting. <laughs> all workers, all included, half think they have a good handle on it. Only half. When you get into your 50s, it increases only to 53%. And when you get into your 60s, oddly enough, it goes down. Now, we think we know what we're doing when we're younger. I don't know if we're having Alzheimer's or we have selective memory here. But really, when you look at that, the level of understanding, this is by what they think. In your experience, do really 50 or 42% of all people in their 60s have any clue? Is that too low? Probably. I mean, it's... It's a fairly simple system that's extremely complex. Mm-hmm. I mean, the end result is, is simple, but there are a bunch of moving parts, mm-hmm. and uh, it's it's very easy to get tripped up, and it's very easy to be uh, to research it to, into the ground where you you, mm-hmm. you actually end up confusing yourself because mm-hmm. there's so many different moving parts and there's yeah. different acronyms and in, in, in jargon that's that's not necessarily trans 
transferable from conversation to conversation. Now, one of my neighbors, I told him I was doing this show, and, and uh, she said, oh, Steve, you have no idea. I went to my mailbox about six months before I turned 65, and it was completely jammed with information on Medicare, Advantage plan, different Medicare policies by insurance carriers. I mean, if you're going to be turning 65, you're going to get besieged. Oh, absolutely. We, we actually measured it, and it's, uh, when my father turned 65, it's about three and a half inches of mail. Unbelievable. And that was, that was, that was agent mail, agent, agent mailings, carrier mailings, stuff that they were getting from Medicare, you know, from the mm -hmm. government themselves. Uh, it's, it's, and when you start looking at that, it becomes overwhelming because everyone thinks that they have the best deal out there. Mm -hmm. for your, and they have they know nothing about now, it. And I noticed that this is, again, because it's medical, this is a state-by-state -state issue. This isn't some grand across-the-board federal program, right? I mean, every state has its different tweak on it. Yeah, the, 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 the CMS, the Centers for Medicare Services, designed uh, the standardized plans, A, B, C, D, F, G, L, K, M, and N. And states add additional rules around those those plan designs, mm -hmm. and the states also control um, what the premiums are going to be and in, in, in some of those other mm -hmm. things. So loss ratios are federally mandated, but but what 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 other additional things that they have to throw into that mix um, really does generate some premium differences between the states. So the first thing we have to do is find out what state you're from. What the rules of engagement are with the regulations and the state. And I mean, there's a lot of stuff to get involved in this. And because it's such a critical piece of your geriatric life and your retirement, we really need to get a handle on this. Absolutely, and it's and it's one of those things where uh, if you come across and you know what you're talking about, I mean, you you gain instant respect because it's it's there's a lot of people who think that they know what they're talking about mm -hmm. and they really don't. Well, we have a lot of get show giveaways this week. We're going to be talking about how we can put you in position your practice so that you can actually address some of the senior questions you're going to get. And I mean, let me tell you, I'm ready to ask the questions on the next break. When we come back from the break, we're going to continue our introduction into Medicare Supplement Insurance. Hey, and don't forget to enroll in IULUniversity.com for the best training, education, and sales support when it comes to life insurance for retirement income. You're listening to the insurance industry's number one resource for products, planning ideas, carrier information, and interviews you can use. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use. Did you know the average 401k runs out of money just seven to eight years into retirement? Time Magazine, The Wall Street Journal, and many other publications have warned of the difficulty of saving with a 401k. But what if there was a way to create tax-free lifetime retirement income with no stock market risk? Good news, there is. You know, living in fear of the next market dive is not the way I want to live my life. Why would I go out there and take on risk when I don't need to? I have a lot less stress knowing I can't lose any more of my retirement savings in the stock market. Call now to receive your free, no obligation analysis of what this retirement vehicle could do for you. A comparison to your current retirement plan and a free video that explains this exciting opportunity. Start planning a retirement you can enjoy instead of worrying about future tax increases and stock market losses. Creating income that will last your entire life is the most important thing you'll ever do. Take control of your future. Call now for your free analysis, comparison, and video. Well, welcome back to the Business Insurance Zone. I'm Steve Savant with Sam Corey. And remember, you can order today's giveaways at thebiz at brokersalliance.com. Our Medigap summary, which itemizes the med sub issues important to seniors and your practice. And not only that, we're going to send you our producer PowerPoint explanation. And just a heads up, before moving forward with any of the ideas that we talk on this show, especially if we talk on anything that relates to tax, always consult your tax advisor. And if you're a FINRA license, always consult your broker-dealer compliance officer before going forward. We're continuing our introduction into Medicare Supplement Insurance with Sam Corey. And remember, the thing about why we have Sam in here is he's been doing it 15 years. This is all they, I mean, they do side venues of life insurance annuities, but really, fundamentally, these guys are guns in this area of MedSup. And I want to kind of introduce, first of all, the government's program, give them their due, right? Sure. Be fair. No, absolutely. And the Advantage Plan. I think a lot of our seniors, when I talk to two or three of my neighbors who are seniors, I live in a kind of a Jerry Park, I, they, they said to me, Steve, you know, I, I thought the Advantage plan was the plan. You know, the government's already got this done. I thought that, Obamacare, Medicare, it covers everything. I mean, that's the illusion out there. Me Obamacare, Medicare, and the Advantage plan all done. What am I sweating? Uh, it's, it's, it, 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 it is a daunting task to sort of decipher through all the different things mm -hmm. that are out there and, and the rumors and the 
sort of misunderstandings. You know, Medicare has been around since 65. Hmm. Um, and that's parts A and B were the original parts. And, and basically that program itself, if you enroll into it, you've worked enough, you get your part A, you pay a part B premium, and they cover about 80% of your medical costs going forward with no maximum out of pocket. Um, then the next, the next segment is Medicare Advantage, which is sort of coming in out of favor over, over the last bunch of, bunch of years. But now it's back in favor currently. And what happens there is you actually, Medicare takes you, um, the, your medical liability away from the Medicare program and, and, and gives it to a private insurance company. So the private insurance company is responsible for your care for that year. And in order to do that, CMS pays that private insurance company a premium on your behalf. And CMS again is? Centers for Medicare Services. Okay. And that premium is, is probably right around $9,000. So, so the mm -hmm. government's you know, shelling out a $9,000 premium for a senior when they enroll in that Medicare Advantage mm -hmm. plan. Now, that Medicare Advantage plan may or may not have a premium on top of that. Hmm. Those plans sort of mimic what the group health insurance would be like. They would have a copay typically to go to the doctor, specialist, mm -hmm. emergency room. Maximum out of pockets of, you know, on, on a very good plan would be 3500 on, on most plans at 67 and some, mm -hmm. in some instances it's $10,000 if you go out of network. So you have, a, you have some substantial medical liability there. Um, so, and then you have a Medicare supplement, which you stay on original Medicare parts A and B where they're, where they're the government's paying the twenty, the eighty mm -hmm. percent, and the Medigap coverage covers that twenty percent. And there's mm -hmm. some, there's some tweaks in the in the Medi Medigap design, you know, where mm -hmm. they cover some things, don't cover other things. But generally speaking, they, you know, they they fill in those gaps there. Give a little yin and yang, Medicare A, Medicare B, because we throw this around and we assume everybody knows it. But I think a vast majority of our producers and people who are coming into senior, like myself, we really don't know the distinguishing issues here. Medicare A would be your facility charges, mm -hmm. your hospital charges, basically. And Medicare B would be your, your physician charges. Mm -hmm. So if you went to a hospital that had a surgery, Part A, Medicare A would be the hospital mm -hmm. facility charges. Part B would be the, with the surgeon and the anesthesiologist mm -hmm. and everyone else would, would bill you for would be going to Part B. And then what about my pharmaceuticals? What about my medications? Is that's, that separate? Now, that's, that's Part D. Wow. So, so A is my hospital, B is my doctor, D is the drugs. Did I miss C? C, C is what Medicare Advantage falls under. Okay, now, now let me just make sure I understand because again, I, I want to knock out the misconceptions. People are walking around saying 2014, Obamacare is going to take care of all of this. Medicare is going to take all of this. Now, if I do the Advantage plan, the government's going to write the premium to that carrier. This is all done for me. What little pieces do I want? Am I worried about? Well, one of the things, and you know, it's it's the, the future is a little bit unclear with mm -hmm. Medicare Advantage because. One of the mechanisms that was used to fund Obamacare for the under 65 market was taking a bunch of money, I, I think $700 billion over 10 years, out of the Medicare Advantage plans. So those plans, you know, you, for the last couple of years have been pretty attractive. They've sort of been overfunded a little bit, um, so they've been able to offer some generous benefits. Mm -hmm. That's probably all going to go go away next mm -hmm. year, where the, where the premiums will go up instead of a zero premium, it might be a $39 or $49 premium. Mm -hmm. The people that are paying $49 may be paying $79 or $89 a month for the Advantage plans. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're going to get sort of um, equalized. Mm -hmm. Now that's assuming mm -hmm. that things stay the way they are currently now. With mm -hmm. the fiscal cliff and everything else that's going on, I'm not really sure the, that anyone's crystal ball mm -hmm. is, is real good right now with what the future for MedAdvantage is over the next couple of years. Well, when I think about it, I mean, I, I think when we have people out on the street right now saying, hey, don't worry about it, you know, 2014, Obamacare and Vantage Plan and Medicaid, uh, Medicare, everything's going to be picked up. So I don't know what you're worried about if you're, in, you know, if you're poor, if you don't have the money, right? It, it, you know, if, if you're poor and you're on Medicaid, mm -hmm. um, generally speaking, you have pretty good care. I mean. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, you, there's not a lot of copays, not a lot of expenses, but you're you're really you're really limited to the physicians that participate mm. with Medicaid um, mm -hmm. patients. And then you have you know with Medicare, you have some limiting factors there mm -hmm. too. But generally speaking, most physicians take Medicare, and, and certainly all facilities take Medicare. Mm -hmm. Most facilities take Medicaid, but it's it's tougher to find physicians who who want to mm -hmm. work with Medicaid patients. Well, when I think about it, these are really critical issues to kind of know. We kind of have to know the basics to understand this. And again, one of our big show giveaways, we have a lot of this broken down for you, so that you're not going to be out there by yourself. I got nice footnotes, pretty much a summary and a cliff note version, so that we can all have be somewhat comfortable with all this. Now, when we come back. We're going to go through, I mean, when I think about uh, when we come back tomorrow, we're going to be talking about plan A, B, C, D. I mean, there are, it feels like I'm halfway through the alphabet. We're going to have to walk you through all this because it's really an unbelievable minutia 
when it comes to Medicare, Medicaid, and all this. Remember, you can watch this show and all our shows by clicking the red on demand button right on our homepage at brokersalliance.com. Well, that's the buzz on the biz for today. Get in the zone, the business insurance zone. You're listening to the insurance industry's number one resource for products, planning ideas, carrier information, and interviews you can use. When it comes to life insurance, annuities, long-term care, disability, or group pension plans, we're the news you can use.